Hi everyone, it's Julie here, your pet grief expert. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the different cycles or different phases of grief. And what you might experience if you're grieving um, the death of a pet or if somebody you love is going through that at the moment. So all these um, phases or cycles are interchangeable, so you might not get them in the order and that I'm explaining them to you, but it is quite usual to experience them at some time or another. So firstly, there's kind of the shock and the denial um, that, that your pet has died. And I don't mean that you don't believe it, but what I mean is you go through a phase of, oh, I can't, I, you say to yourself, I can't believe it. What happened? You know, I wasn't ready, I wasn't prepared, I, I had no idea. And you start to question yourself and some people just go completely numb because they just can't work out in their mind what's happened. Even though logically they know their pet has died, they just go through this absolutely um, numb, shock, I can't believe it kind of phase. Um, following that you can have um, guilt and pain depending on the circumstances that your pet died you might be experiencing loads and loads of guilt so it might be guilt surrounding a decision that you had to make um, regarding euthanasia or testing it might be guilt because you um, gave the care of your pet to somebody else and for whatever reason something terrible happened it might be guilt because you start to doubt yourself and think, well, maybe I should have seen it. Maybe I should have realised. Why didn't I spot that something was wrong? Um, how could I not have known? I was so close to them. They were so close to me. How could I have not known something like that was happening? And you start to question yourself over and over. And you get the, the pain that goes with it as well. You just... Oh, like an overwhelming feeling and it can be physical pain some people feel quite sick they stop eating or they overeat to stuff down their feelings with food or they turn to wine to try um because they feel they can't sleep or they try and numb the pain by drinking too much alcohol people try and cope with it in all different ways some people find it very difficult to sleep during this phase as well just an overwhelming feeling of emptiness you've got anger and bargaining and by bargaining I don't mean to say oh if I do this will it bring my pet back but again you start to question yourself well what if this what if that maybe we should have done this maybe we shouldn't have done that and again it's these questions and questions and making yourself feel terrible over and over again um it's it can be like a completely overwhelming sense of regret um during this phase as well and don't forget these can come at any time so you might feel this at first and then feel the pain afterwards everyone experiences it differently everyone's grief is unique to them so there is no right or wrong way to feel People start to question themselves and say, well, should I feel like this? Is it all right to feel like this? Is it normal to feel like this? And question themselves over and over again. They might look to other people and say, well, they don't seem to be feeling it that way. Or when their pet died, they went like this. Or perhaps there's somebody else in the household that is coping differently or feeling differently to you. And this is the phase when you start to question most things. There's also depression, loneliness, and perhaps looking back, but in sadness and sorrow. This is the state that most people associate when they think of grief, the depression, the overwhelming sorrow that you, that you can experience. It can, again, it can come at any time and it can last a long, long time. It can be made worse through anniversaries, you know, the first year, the first Christmas, the first Thanksgiving and the anniversary of the pet's death. All the first times and you can feel really, really, really lost um, and not want, some people don't want to get out of bed. They don't want to do anything. They just don't feel like going to work. They don't want to get dressed. 
they don't feel like they even want to get um washed or anything they just can't be bothered to do anything it's like life isn't worth living almost and if you get stuck in that cycle and you really feel like it's not worth going on then phone the samaritans or phone somebody for some help talk to somebody eventually you will come to reflection and acceptance and acceptance is not agreeing with what you um what happened it's not thinking it's okay it's just being able to look back and look at all the good times the happy times the times when your pet snuggled with you um all the things you went through together perhaps so you know it's been a really difficult year this year for a lot of people and if your pet was with you through all that it's almost like you've got this um you're missing the bond or missing the support of your pet that you had so as well as the usual grief you're missing them helping you through all those really difficult times if you've been ill um, or if they were a service pet you miss all of that and this tends to come um, throughout in waves so grief can come in waves and you might start to think okay you're okay for one day you're all right and you're going along it's fine and then suddenly out of nowhere it's like wham and you get hit with this wave of grief and you just feel like crying and you feel other people don't understand and then you get people saying things like well hasn't it been long enough you know it's been a long time now go and get another pet and they're trying to be helpful but as we know it's really not that helpful to keep saying things like that so um, grief can come in cycles and waves and like I say you think that you're fine you're going about your business perhaps you're back at work perhaps you, you're just going along thinking everything's fine and then suddenly out of nowhere you get this absolutely overwhelming feeling of grief or sorrow or an emotional outburst or somebody will say something and then you'll get all upset and they'll think well what's she on about but they don't realise that that's part of the grief process and it's important for you to know that it's perfectly all right it's a natural part of grieving the problem is is when you get stuck in one particular phase so if you get stuck with the pain and you're constantly being sick or constantly with a headache um, it can even affect your immune system all sorts of things so if if you constantly get stuck in one particular cycle that's when you need to look at getting some help you may be able to talk to a trusted friend but you might not want to keep on and on about it especially if you feel that they don't really understand and they might be just kind of putting up with it because they're your friend but you don't want to keep talking to them about it um it might be that um you look up the vet and see if they've got any support from you know your, your local vet quite often they'll do it i've got the program that you can have a look at um, or you might just want one session you can come and um, have a free initial consultation with me see what you think you need have a look at grief counseling ordinary grief counseling if that's the only thing that's available to you you know go and get some help don't get stuck in one of these cycles you know if you feel really really guilty it's gonna ruin your everyday life and your pet wouldn't want you to feel like that would they your pet wouldn't want you to constantly burst into tears every time you thought about them. They would want you to feel happy and warm and a bit fuzzy when you think about them. And of course you're going to miss them. Grief is natural, but everyone experiences it in different ways and spends different, different amounts of time in each cycle. And if you feel like you're getting stuck, if this sounds like you, then get in touch get some help either with me or with somebody else but don't be stuck and don't let the love of your pet ruin your life because your pet wouldn't want that you know that deep down your pet would want you to be happy think about that what would your pet want yes grief is a natural process the cycles are natural but you don't need to be stuck in them forever and I hope that this has helped you or helped somebody that you love, you know, help maybe helped you understand somebody that you love. If they're the ones that keep bursting into tears or don't feel like doing anything or just feel all, you know, depressed or that, that they just 
can't cope show this to them or send it to somebody you think it might help or if it's you get some help with me or with somebody else but please get some help all right now see you on one of the other videos you might even find some strategies there that will help you and um, breathing exercises some tapping there's all different videos and there's different things that can help different people depending on your circumstance your personality and the sort of things you like to do so have a look and see get some help and i'll see you on one of the other videos all right bye for now